Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I will show you how to download and install Distant Horizons mod in Minecraft 1.20-4. So, as you can see right now, I'm using the mod and it's absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. Just take a look. It's amazing. And I'll show you how to easily get it. So let's get right into that. So the first thing we need to do is to actually download Iris Shaders Launcher. Uh, sorry, I was on the wrong website. So this is the Iris Shaders website and we will need to download the, the Iris Shaders from here. And thanks to the Iris Shaders, we can easily install Distant Horizons mod as well. I will show you everything, no worries. So please download this and then take it and drop it on the desktop. And as you can see, we've got only Iris installer, but no worries. Double click on it and the uh, Iris installer window will show up. And there are many uh, versions of the game, but we need or we want to use the 1.20.4. And as you can see in here, it says use Distant Horizons beta version. So let's make sure you tick it and also make sure you use Iris plus fabric version. You can also leave the installation directory to that Minecraft. Then hit install and uh, basically what this does is that it installs all the mods and everything that you need for the Distant Horizons beta uh, mod. So if we close this and get to the roaming folder, we can actually take a look what mods uh, are in there in now. So it downloaded and installed the Distant Horizons, Fabric AP, Indium, Iris and Sodium Fabric. Great. So let's open up Minecraft Launcher. I will exactly show you what you need to do to make this work and uh, to use shaders as well. I played with the shaders and it's absolutely phenomenal. So uh, make sure you are launching the Fabric Loader 1.20.4 in here. And what I suggest you to do is to go to the installations tab and hit the three dots on the Fabric Loader 1.20.4. Go to more options and allocate more RAM, okay? So uh, if you have 8 GB of RAM, you would use 4G and I have 32 GB of RAM, so I use 16G. Uh, always use 50% of the RAM's capacity. Now just hit play and uh, we, we can finally get the distant shaders to work. I will show you how to do that, no worries. And when I get back to the RAM thing, it's uh, because uh, you need to allocate more RAM just to make sure you don't have that many legs and stuff like that. So let's create a new world. So let's let's uh, make it creative. And we are in here and I will leave it loading. It will take some time. And this is how it looks like now. So when you go to the options and the distant horizons, you can actually turn it off and look what it did look how it looks like now and when we turn it on and just take a look on it it's amazing and we can actually turn on the shaders i use the bliss shader specifically made for the distant horizons mod and take a look on this it's simply amazing i absolutely love it and uh, the minecraft feels like a whole new game this is like minecraft 2.0 just take a look on that it's amazing and i love it so thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope I have helped you with the installation of the Distance Horizons mod in Minecraft and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Thanks so much and see you soon.